Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? Hi, Teresa Cherry. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Sue. Hi, Carol. Hi, Sheila. Choi Choi said, uh. <laughs> Hi, Trina. Hi, Miss Wanda. Choi Choi. Can you say hi? <laughs> hi, Marcia. So it appears that my stuff that has gone out of the U.S. has finally arrived. Sue finally received her stuff. Andrew finally received their stuff. So we're good. Now we got more stuff going to Australia. So <laughs> hi, Jamie. Choi Choi. Everybody say hi to you, Choi Choi. He just keeps keeps looking and smiling. So, all righty, all righty. Happy hump day. Happy hump day. So, today we are going to do some um, hi, Sue Russin. Hello, Miss Debbie. How are you two doing? We are going to do just a good old wooden tissue box. I put the links in the description for where these, it comes in a two-pack. It was just a raw wood. No curved services today, so I don't have to, you know, try to be messing with something rolling around on my desk. Hi, Martin. How are you? So um, we're going to do make it real pretty. Um, also, you all, I received my stencils, my new stencils from uh, Decoupage Queen. So um, if you haven't gotten a hold of these, you know, you need to get your hands on it. But this is the stencil I've been waiting for. So um, this is one of Yvetta's. This is Dainty and the Queen. And this one is called, oh, that's not nice. It don't got a name on it. I'll get the name for you. Anyhow, this is what I want to put on. So if we get time today, if not, I will just finish this off screen. But... Um, if we get time today, we'll come back to this. But can you see? I put the uh, little jewels on all the gems on the butterfly. And then I did it on the front as well. And, of course, we put that on there with the gem. This is a purse hanging from it if you're wondering what this chain is. But I want to put this stencil, this one down here, on the back of the neck. Hi, Gwen. Hi, Beth. So if we get time, we'll do that. And, um, but for today, we're just going to do a doggone surface that's not rolling off of my desk. <laughs> so let me put my screen on here. Like, man, I need to get away from this stuff that's rolling around all the time. Hard for me to hold. My daughter is going through empty nest syndrome with my youngest grandson started school this year. So I just ordered her a book note to help her. Oh, that's awesome. I'm sure she will love it. That'll be, that's a good thing to occupy time because it, it's not like stressful, but it's fun. And when you see it all come together, right, you get like excited. Okay. So what I did do um, already is... I um, used the Waverly plaster and I put a coat on of the Waverly plaster. Remember when you paint wood, you're going to lift those fibers up, right? So you want to go back and sand it back, okay? Sa sand those fibers that have lifted back. Otherwise, you it's going to, you know, it, you feel all the pokies and it, it won't look right. So make sure when you paint, you go and do a light sand. Now, I'm talking like this is a 240, a 240, a 320, or a 400 sand on here, okay? You don't need to go in with a 60 or a 40. Go high. And then, um, <laughs> thanks, Debbie, but good Lord, they are sure hard to hold. Freya is, well, hi, Freya. How are you? Okay. One more thing I wanted to show you guys. So, you know, I always, um, in my goodie um, boxes and bags, I always send something from the mixed palette. That's Nicole Palos. She owns the mixed palette. 
if you go over to the Mixed Palette and Friends, she is selling a bunch of her Zuri molds that she doesn't use or has barely gotten any use. So um, I'm a Libra. Troy Troy's a Scorpio, which I had, but and Trevor is a Sagittarius, and then Nick is a Taurus. Taurus. So um, they were like, she's selling Zuri molds for five to seven dollars, y'all. And then all you got to do is pay for shipping. But if you are looking for Zuri molds, head over to the Mixed Palette and Friends. Plus, you should be joining that group anyways because. Um, that's where we share because if you get something from me and you craft with it, share it into that group. Um, but yeah, so if you're looking for any Zuri molds, I mean, that is a steal. If you know anything about the prices on Zuri molds, five to seven dollars is, is chump change. Hi, Lynn. How's Holly? Okay, so we are going to use one of the new papers. And this is um, in the city, the four pack right? And the four pack actually fits on here pretty well. It's a little bit bigger, but the um, four pack in the A4 size is a little bit too small. So I'd rather go a little bigger. Um, what I thought we could do, because you see how we have this one that has open space. So I pulled out some mitt form. I pulled out some molds here. So, I don't know. We'll do something cool to the blue that has um, open space. Hi, Miss Linda. How are you? All right. So, the first thing we need to do is get this apart. I'm actually going to do something that I rarely do, and I'm going to cut it. And, y'all, uh, if you've been watching me, you know that I rarely ever cut uh, my rice paper. Um, the feather edges are best, especially when you want it to blend um, but in this case, I know that I'm going to have to be sanding off some of these, uh, well, most of them, because they're a little big, so it's not going to matter too much today. All right. And I did anything that I knew I was going to for sure use today, I did already put it in the description. Um, but I have a little notation down there that whatever else I add, I will go back and add those links as well. Again, some of those are affiliate links. Some of them are not. Um, if you use them, that's awesome. But I also just put it there so you can kind of figure out what they're called and where to find them too. You know what I mean? I just trying to draw, tried to join the mixed palette of friends and it's saying something went wrong. Um, try it again, Trina, because I'm an admin on that group too, so uh, it shouldn't. Seriously, people, I'm going to have to take out a loan for everything I want. <laughs> Debbie, I think she's coming out of it now. Oh, good, good, Lynn. That makes me happy. Um, yeah. You know, when Troy Troy gets sick and Lynn's daughter gets sick, it, it it's so rough. It's so rough because it takes them down and man, you know, and we it's a helpless feeling that we have because of course, you know, we would, would rather be sick than them. Hi Elizabeth. Hi, Miss Edie. Did I miss Miriam too? Hi, Miriam. I'm sorry. All right. Okay, so let's start with this one. Oh, man. Pooper scooper. Well, you know, maybe I'll add that somewhere on the top. Hmm. I kind of wanted that luggage piece because, do you guys remember? Um, and that's another thing, too. Oh, my goodness, you guys. I've got some really amazing friends, but... So Nicole sent me, who's, again, the Mixed Palette. I know we know another Nicole, but Nicole from the Mixed Palette sent me a bunch of her molds that she doesn't use anymore. Some of them are brand new. I happen to have this mold already. Um, this is the one of the um, Lady Vagabond. And look, it, it has this cute little uh, luggage 
piece. So I was thinking of maybe even using this mold. I love this mold from this and the books. Um, but anyhow, what I was talking about her sending me a bunch of molds is because she told me, keep what you want and whatever you don't want, use it in your giveaways. And I'm like, thank you. Some of them may be um, used once or twice. Um, so if you guys only want the new stuff, you know, I asked before, then let me know. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I want on here. I think I'm going to take the bistro and take let the key and that fall off. All right. So let's get, I'm going to use my decoupage varnish and glue mat. Hi, Helen. Do you, you love that mold, Teresa Chair? Do you have it or are you just are saying you? It's a, I love the um, the books and the luggage pieces on there. So, yeah, I've asked you guys before. Ooh, do I have one of those pieces in there? I've asked you guys before, and most of you say that you don't mind if something is used once or something I've used for demonstration or um, our design team, because that's usually what happens is I'll use something once, and then I'll put it up. All right, I've talked to you guys before about this. If you have this piece in here, you need to remove it because it's it, it will soak up the moisture from your product. So if it's not that foil piece and it's this, um, I don't even know, cardboard, whatever it is, you need to take that out. That's bad to have in your product. It sucks up the moisture in your, in your stuff. All right, so take those out. All right, so let's get a little bit of this on. And as always, I'm going to work in sections. I'm going to turn this over for a minute, though, because I know that I want. All right. It were used, works good. Oh, yeah, it that's you. Hi, Jesse. How are you? Okay, yeah, so I always forget to ask. So if you guys can remember, um, because when I do forget to ask, I just won't do it. But if you guys remember, let me know. Like, I don't mind if, you know, there's something in there that has been used and when I say use, like, I'm not trying to send you, like, a half bottle of, you know, half empty bottle of paint or something like that. I'm talking, <laughs> I'm talking about, like, a mold. <laughs> or it could be a product, but a product that I'd maybe done a tutorial on and only used it for that tutorial. So it's practically full. You know what I mean? I would never send you, like, something that's <laughs> something crazy. <laughs> I won Terry's giveaway, and she gave me a, a drop of paint. <laughs> there was a big Microsoft update overnight. Oh, really? I went out altogether and tried again and won't let me join the group. Okay, I'll send you an invite from the group um, and see if that'll help you. But, yeah, there's some... Um, I seen that she posted that and I was like, give me, <laughs> I need, I need me, Troy, Tr me, Trevor, and Nick. And she had them still, but I know she was, she had a lot that she was going to get rid of. <clears throat> what you doing, boy? What you doing, the Troy? Well, oh, no, that's the wrong one. That's Mama's case. That's why it's not fitting in there. You got to get your case, Papa's. His new earbuds should be here today. Look at that. Doesn't that look so pretty? And we will save this piece because maybe we'll put that at the top. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So what's the next piece do we want? 
Let's put this one next. So this is the little piece that comes out, right? So we're gonna need to cut this. Woo, got fiber on my nose, it's itchy. Woo. Uh, we're gonna need to cut this. So we need to make sure this is super dry before we do that. You guys have seen me do that before. All right, we don't wanna chop off her legs. So let's get as much as we can. And then does it matter? Uh, let's pull it over here. Am I missing? I'm interested in molds used is fine with me. I saw that Nicole has astrology sign molds and I need some for sure, like five if she's, yeah, I know. Um, hi, Kimberly, how are you? That's true, Teresa. Yeah, that's true. But you know what? You wouldn't believe how picky people can be when it comes to giveaways. <laughs> when we would do our giveaways for the hops and stuff, oof. Girl, let me tell you, some of these people have no kind of shame. <laughs> no kind of shame. You guys are awesome. I've never had anybody um, make a comment to me because I'm just going to say I am not the one. You get crazy with me and I'm trying to give you some goodies. I, I just won't send them. But yeah, we've had some we've had some people act real crazy uh, before when we would do hops is what we call them. You guys call them events. Um, but yeah, it's craziness. I'm sorry, but if it's free, you should be great. Exactly. Exactly. So I'm so glad, Marcia. Did Andrew really like what he got or was he? I was trying to give him stuff that is put in time. I was trying to give him stuff that was something that he would actually like to use and, you know, mess with. Um, but he's, he's crafty, so it wasn't that hard. But what am I doing with this? Oh, yeah, this is the right one. What am I doing, son? Charging yet? Okay, I could do that, and I'll even put it over here so you can grab it when you want it. Mm. Anyone should be happy and appreciative for what you're doing. Unappreciated. It is. Thank you, Leona. It is, but I've had people get mad because, again, not on my Happy Mail Fridays. I haven't had anybody do that to me because, like, I'm very serious, you guys. If I had somebody do that to me, I am not the one. I They would just... They wouldn't get anything if you act if you act foolish like that. You're not going to get anything. Um, so, but I've had people yell at me because they didn't get their tracking number, and I was like, well, "Who who told you you was going to get a tracking number?" And get mad because it wasn't sent out right away. Nice. Okay. Goodness gracious. Thank you. Well, Papa's, I charged that for you overnight. Mm. What? Mm. What? It won't come on? Okay. I'm going to do one hand sanding. Look at that. I got the match. Uh, I know. Uh, what now? Look, are you yelling at me? You know Miss Sue is going to start yelling at me in a minute, mm. thinking I'm mistreating you. Mm. I don't know what you want now. A charging cord? You want me to charge my phone? Oh my lord, have mercy. He really loves love the message from Troy. Isn't it so cute? Mm -hmm. Absolutely loved it all. Mm -hmm. He's hidden the mm -hmm. brushes, the mixed mm -hmm. palette stuff was right up his graveyard, and he loves steampunk. Awesome! Yay! <laughs> cool. And I know you guys don't really get the opportunity to get the max, uh, the max, the mixed palette stuff too often. So um, let me tell you guys what happened here. Okay, 
I don't know how you do it, Terry. Most days I have no patience with people. <laughs> I know. Well, oh, my goodness. So uh, did you guys see while I was talking to Troy, Troy, I, I changed my, my, my gator. When, you know how I always tell you guys, do not use a low grit when you're taking off your edges because you will rip up your project. You see what happened here? It started grabbing the paper and pulling the paper away. So that's why we use, we don't want to use a low grit sand on that. Okay. Because it will tear up your edges. Um, and yeah. I'm sure those kind of people probably don't understand. It's the giving that matters, not what's in the box. That's true, too. You messed it up, sheesh. No. <laughs> Troy should craft up some of those phone cases to sell so he has room for new ones. I'm telling you, y'all, he is just. There you go, baby. Your glasses are clean. Okay, I'm going to need you to give me a few minutes now. You see, he thinks it's funny sometimes when he's messing with me. You guys know he gets that evil <laughs> grin. Yeah, I will ink the edges. You guys know I always go to my corners. You know, we'll go up around the top and everything, too. Um, so we are going to let this dry all the way. If you've noticed, I haven't even put in the put a uh, layer on top yet. We're going to let this dry all the way so that I can cut that piece out because that's where the tissue box goes in from underneath, right? So now we will do this one. We're going to save this. We'll do this one. Actually, no, because she's got the umbrella there. So let's put her over here. All right. So 7th Avenue is going to get cut off. Yeah, because if we do that, then it's not her whole body practically. Oh, top. <laughs> I'm telling you what, Troy has got the best smirk looks there are. And you know what's awful, guys? When something happens, like if something falls down or if I trip or something, he'll go. <laughs> <laughs> so mean. <laughs> like, it's not funny, Troy, Troy. If I stub my toe or something. <laughs> oh, he's too much, I tell you. He's too much. All right. Yeah, he thinks it's funny when I hurt myself. The other day, he wanted me to open a soda for him. And it was so weird. I don't know how this happened. But I grabbed the soda can. And it must have been punctured or or something already. And it went, shot me right in the face. And I was like, oh, ah! And he was, <laughs> in the background. I was like, something's not funny. He thought it was hilarious. After I got through the... The irritation, then I thought it was funny, but I was, yeah. You set me up, Troy Troy. I ordered some different grit from Amazon. I don't think I got the high grit like you yet. Gotcha. Yep, yeah, that's why I tell you guys to get to use the high grit, especially when you're doing like this, when your papers are backing up to each other, because you will tear you will tear up the the sides. And it tears up your project underneath, too. Oh, I'm telling you. Freya has gone to sleep in the living room doorway. She wouldn't stay in bed, and I can't move her. Kids can be so... <laughs> to be a kid again and be a, and just sleep wherever. Shoot, if I fell asleep on the floor, there was no way I would be able to get up. And my back would be all kind of messed up. <laughs> I would be in awe. Oh, talk about 
Troy laughing, he would be cracking up at me trying to get up off the floor after sleeping. But I remember those days, sleep in the car, sleep anywhere. All right. So again, got this. Just a little bit of an edge here. Um, when I'm doing this, I always use um, like a 320 or a 400, Jamie. No, it was weird. It was on the side of the can, Marcia. It was like, uh, it was a brand new can. And on the side of the can, like when I actually grabbed it with my hand, it it went and then just shot. And it was, ended up being like a little pinhole. Um it was so weird. Hi, Sylvia. Try, try. <laughs> Sylvia says hi. You say hi. <laughs> okay, so now I actually think I want to have the bottom done with more of the leaves because we can always put stuff on the rim there. Do you see what I'm saying? Instead of cutting off the bottom and then having this down here like that. So I want the leaves down here and then up here we can always do something to it. So let's do that. Um, I want to put it in the middle. Yeah, I'll put it in the middle. Yeah, so Jamie, I recommend just using a high grit. Look at that. We need to. This thing get glued down good. Just gonna wiggle my brush in there. And then, all right. Um, and so high grit, they actually go all the way up to 800 I seen and even a thousand. Those are probably a little too high. I would stick like right around. I my the highest that I have is um, 600, but I hardly ever use it. I usually stay, the highest that I will use is usually like the 400. All right. Let's get the rest of this on here. So I'm thinking about doing the um, an auction on Friday on the 8th. Where do you get, where can you get the replacement sandpaper from Gator? I get them from Amazon. I have links for all of that, um, but I get mine from Amazon. They sell just the, repa just the replacements as well. Hi, Dana. Okay. I was the evil child. I would purposely shake the soda cans before giving it to my siblings just to laugh so hard when they'd open it. Oh, my gosh, Miriam. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's funny. Timu has, Timu has, but takes too long. Yeah. Um, yeah, but the Amazon, you know, Amazon's not, Amazon Prime, you just get it the next day, unless you don't need them right away. I will tell you that I know most people think that it's better to use the low grip because it, you know, comes off faster, but... That's that's not what you want. You want the higher grit so it doesn't tear up your stuff. All right. And let's get that off. There we go. Okay. 
So now let's go back. Is it her? I think it's her, right? Oh, Lord. Oh, no, it's her. I feel it over here. Okay. So now this side is pretty dry. I'm actually going to take a, a ruler because I only want to cut in that groove. <clears throat> and I can see it. I don't know if you guys can, but I can see it because of the, the light. But I know it doesn't go all the way. Let's see if that's enough. Push it back in. Here we go. All right. So now go ahead and put the top layer on or not. My speaker will not come on. You're welcome, Kathy. Miriam, I used to put a ponytail holder on the squirter of the sink and when someone turned the water on, they got to... <gasps> you guys! See, I was the only girl and I was the baby. So if I try to do that to my older brothers, Lordy, Lord, Lord, they would, they would get me for sure. Okay, so I'm actually going to pull this out while I'm putting on the top layer because I don't want it to seal, um, seal, you know what I mean, seal it shut. What is happening here? Got some fibers. That's all right. I'll we'll just go through, put this layer on. Were you, Debbie? That's funny. That's funny. Yeah, so my brothers were horrible to each other. They would do some of the craziest things to each other. Oh, my word. But there's a big age gap between me and my three brothers. So there's 14, 15, 15, 14, and 10 years. Um, so I was the baby. So, yeah, I didn't. I didn't partake, but it was funny watching the things that they would do to each other. Good Lord. My mom would be swatting them with the broom all the time. <laughs> all right. I'm going to pull away because if, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but the, the edges are a little curved. Um, so... I'm just pulling it back and now setting it down. I feel like Choi Choi, in his own way, is the prankster, right? He's always doing crazy stuff. See? You see? I have to go now, but I will catch up on replay. Okay, Teresa, have a great day. Hi, Robin, how are you? All right, so now we've got this on here. And make sure that we got the edges on here real good. And then we'll dry this, put that back on, or put that back in there. And then we'll start putting some molds and stuff on here. I know, right, Brenda? The red is so pretty. You still are a prankster, Debbie? That's funny. I know. I say prankster, Sue, and he's like, oh. <laughs> like, yep, that's me. That's me. So we have to figure out your wallet. <laughs> 
No, son, that's not that's not mama's purse. He wants to put his wallet in the butterfly purse. See, I'm telling you. One of these days you really got somebody's gonna win something and they're really gonna have to send me back a <laughs> choice phone or wallet or something. Oh, I didn't even finish saying that. So yeah, I'm thinking that I'm gonna do my auction on Friday the 8th. I usually do it on Sundays, but Yvetta helps me with them. And because there's such a big time difference and it's on a Sunday, it is it is hard for her. And I always appreciate her help. So we're gonna try to do it Friday. Probably a little bit later though, because the reason why I like Sundays is majority of people aren't working um so we'll probably do it um a couple of hours later than what i would regular do you know my regular lives just so that um maybe more people would be home but all right let's go ahead and stick this in there stop feel like that is glue. That's exactly what I don't want because I don't want this glue shut. Not that I can't get it back open, but I really don't want to have to use the blade again. All right. Just won't shut it all the way. Okay. I am going to take the umber and I'm going to come across on the edges right now, which is something that typically I will always do. I feel like, oh... I missed an edge. Um, he can get away with it because he's so cute. I used to support a man with Down syndrome and was <laughs> It's true, right, Marcia? Just like when he laughs at me when I, I hurt myself or somebody, something. It's like you can't get mad at him because he's just like, you know. And then that laugh is so hilarious that low, deep, <laughs> it's like, ugh. turkey. Yes, I'm talking about you. Okay, so now we're going to take these edges and we're going to do the antique paste and umbra. And I'm just going to take a bit of it, work it into the cap like always. And then just come and kind of hit the corner. And this just finishes it off, right? Because unless you're wrapping the paper around, um, which I don't, I don't think I've ever done that. Um, but unless you're wrapping the paper around, you are going to have that unfinished edge. So, you know, it's all in the details, right? Don't forget. Don't forget. And we'll probably even come back again later with a wax or something. Ooh, you know what would be pretty is to put the chameleon varnish on here. Hmm. What do you guys think? Should we do the chameleon varnish in silver on the paper? Hi, Annette. How are you? I'm glad you caught me, too. Thank you for being here. Uh, blah, 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 I can't see. That Friday That Friday is good. will be fun. Yeah, see, and I'm thinking, because usually I'm at 4 Eastern, so I'm thinking maybe, even if maybe an hour or two later, um, just to give, you know, if people are working that they can have a little bit of time. So uh, you guys will see, I'll put up graphics and everything. Uh, I won't leave the top raw. We just haven't finished off the top yet. So I'll figure out that in a minute. In a minute. Because I want to know, I'm thinking, remember this beautiful color blue? It's the indigo blue. It will look really good with this. I'm thinking to paint this blue and put some molds up here. 
definitely try the varnish. All right. So this is the silver. I'm thinking silver, unless you guys are thinking something else. Because I have silver, brass, and gold. I won't be there for the auction then on the 8th. That's the weekend of my high school reunion. Oh, how cool. What year is it? Like 20, 25th reunion? What, what reunion is it? So I'm thinking we're going to do the, uh, the silver. So let's get out a fluffy brush here. Silver. Okay. And then we'll paint the top. And then I'm thinking, I'm thinking molds or something. And remember, we still want to do something here. What would be really pretty is so like put, you can do some lettering right here. Like if it was a gift, you know, like to put their name, like the, the household name or something on there. It's always an idea. All right. So let's take, okay. So remember with your chameleon varnish, I'm going to have to pull this out again. Remember with um, your varnish, right? You're going to want to shake that up. Okay. Um, Cause if you go in it straight, all of the, the pigment and what has settled to the bottom. So you won't get the full effect. And if you're painting something big, you're going to want to, you know, close the top every so often and shake it again. But you'll notice once it's dried all the way, it's not going to alter your images or anything. You're just going to, every time the light hits it, you'll see that beautiful reflection in this case it'll be the silver i use the in the city for uh four pack it's from the new um the fall release and it's in the city four pack i did put the link in my description I wish it was 20. It's a 40. Whoa. That's awesome. I haven't gone to any of mine. They tried to get me to go to my 20 a few years, oh, a lot of years back. And I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. So I don't know. Okay. Okay. See, so it hits the light, and you can see that really pretty shine. But if you're just looking at it straight on, well, I didn't do that side yet. But if you're looking at it straight on, you're not going to see much of a change. Um, and that's what you want, right? It's just to, to see that beautiful reflection. What's wrong, son? All right. So, I got that on there. Got the top. I'll close this up. And now let's work on the top. I think we will go ahead and paint it that blue. I love this blue. Oh, it's the subtle details. Yeah, it is. It really is. The box need that box needs to be on my desk just saying <laughs> what's the matter son your wallet i don't know you were just trying to put it in this purse son where did you put it Popeyes? go look go look back there you silly goose okay so this is the um indigo blue it's a beautiful blue i remember when i first used it i was like what the heck I don't know where I'm trying to put this. It scares me because it's so full. And you guys all have heard of my uh, horror paint stories with the paint just liking to find my clothes. 
So now the inside is not finished. Um, I didn't paint on the inside. More than likely, I'll go in and at least do a white. I haven't been on been to any either. That's my first one. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Beth, do you keep in touch with a lot of the people that you went to school with? Like a lot of the friends that you had in high school? Gorgeous blue. Thank you. What, Marcia? It's the subtle details that makes a difference. If you haven't heard the stories yourself. <laughs> if you haven't heard the stories about my paint horror stories, yeah. Just ask Sue and she'll probably have a video for you in like, you know, 2.2 seconds. All right. I'm going to be really careful about going over on this edge. I will, I will do it in um, just kind of but we will put a trim around here but it's still because of how this blue is I don't want it you know all the way down on the paper or anything This brush is a, it's a Stamperia brush number 12. Um, it's all right. Another reason why you want to make sure to put like a layer on top of your paper, right? Just in case you get some paint on it. You guys didn't see, but the brush caught on it. As long as you have a layer on there, you'll be able to wipe it up right away instead of being stuck. The friends that I had, yes, but we had over 500 people in our class. There were a lot I didn't keep in touch with. Where in the world are you, Annette? Are you in the States? Where in the world? The way I read that made it sound like, where in the world? I, I got it from uh, Miniature Luxuries. Uh, all right. I thought that I needed to come back over here. Yeah, I did. I, I'm being really picky, but I, I don't need to be because we're going to put a border mold up here. So let me just quit it before I make a mess. All right. So let's dry this. Oh, good. Annette, did you find? I don't see Teresa. Um, I have a lot of Stamperia stuff because I used to be the design team coordinator for a store that... Um, carried it so uh but i don't have anything to do with that store anymore and so i don't tend to use try not to use too much of the stuff um because i i don't have easy access to give you guys where to find it some of the stamp area stuff teresa does have on th decor but i never know I know. Yeah, I, you can do that, Sue, if you want to. I. 
long story. Never mind. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Um, see, what I wanted to do, what I thought would be pretty was to, around the top, I have the um, Madame Garland mold from Prima, the redesign with Prima. But I don't know. I might want to do this one around here, too. But I think if I do that one, it's going to be too too big for me to do a border mold around there. Decisions, decisions. Unless I did... Flowers or something. I've been trying to get the chameleon varnish, but I can't find it in the UK. Any ideas, Marcia? Um, Sue, have you asked Leanne to get it for you? Because we can ship it to Leanne. If you ask Leanne, she might be able to, you know, she might order it for you because Leanne is able to get it. Um, actually... Leanne actually can get it. She, I think Leanne gets it straight from them. Hold on, guys. I need to get a border mold. Sorry. You know, I'm coming prepared and all. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Leanne gets them straight from Hungary. So she can get it from, she has access. Just ask her, say, Leanne, pretty please, with sugar on top. But don't blame me or anything. <laughs> don't blame me. Okay. So let's take a look at what we have on here, right? So we have the bistro, we have the umbrella, the luggage we cut off. But she's got her man over here. She's got a mysterious summon someone over here. So I want to do a border right around the top. And sometimes I feel it's better just to do like a plain, like almost like a rope around the top. And then we can do like the pretty, like I think these would look really pretty in here. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? I'm just playing, Sue. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> See, Rustin, I'm just playing. You can tell Leanne. <laughs> I was just playing. Okay, I'm going to take off those rings because I need to, as usual, when I do clay, I can't get over to the sink. Um, so I don't want to have all kind of clay on my hands. On my hands. Okay. So. Let's take... The Joby Clay. And. We'll get this one out. Do this. The floral would be pretty. I think so, too. Um, this is what happens when you've got too much. Crap, you can't find anything. Okay, let's get my baby oil that I have to keep tipped upside down because Onyx bit a hole right there. She bit a hole. All right, let me clean off some of this stuff so it's not all in the way. So I also have, like I was saying, some of the mint form stuff, the key. We have luggage. 
We have an umbrella. And then we can also do like some embossing on this. Um, these little chipboards too. I thought would, you know, just pulling out stuff that kind of caught my eye. All right, so let's get some of the Jovi clay. Um, again, anything that I use today, I can, that the art links are down at the bottom, I will put them in. Where did you find the little bottle of baby oil? I keep looking, can't find it. Hi, Karen, how are you? I'm so happy you're here. Miss Wanda. Amazon. Amazon. Okay, so I'm not going to take this part. I'm just going to take these two, okay, with the flowers. I'm getting a little bit of baby oil. That was a lot, so I'm going to use all of that to come over and do all the rest. Remember, when you put baby oil in your mold, you don't need that much. If you put too much, it will uh, do the reverse of what you want it to do. All right. And I'm also going to get my heavy body gel. It's horribly hot in here. Oh, I'm telling you. I, You know, we had uh, Hillary come through here for a second, right? Well, down south, and it's right back to nasty, scorching wow. hot. I know, Toy Toy. I use cake release spray in the molds. Good idea. Uh, one place I haven't looked, I should have known. Oh, that's why I said, Miss Wanda. <laughs> Don't do what I do, huh? <laughs> the ribbon part is so hard to pull out with clay. What ribbon part? This part? Oh. I haven't had problems with it, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Some of the ones that are real intricate, if you can't get out, just stuff it in. See how that wants to keep coming up because I put too much oil over there. Just stuff it in the freezer. It happens when you put too much oil, it wants to do the reverse. It doesn't want to stay in there. All right. So I'm going to push down now and really get it into the parts because it wants to lift because of all that oil. And then I told you guys what I like to do to smooth down the bottom is I stick my finger in a little bit of water and smooth it out. And I'm gonna pick my mold up and roll. And there we go. Okay, so we did this. So I need the other side, right? You know I do. Most everything comes from Amazon. Okay. Let's lift this up. So now you know what we painted is going to get, you know, clay dirty, which I'm not worried about. So I'm going to start wrapping this around like that. And before I glue it down, and I'm going to get the other piece down. So, again, I go in with my baby oil and not try to put so much in this time. Okay. What's up, Troy Troy? And I'm going to roll this out again. What gloves do you buy? All of mine fall off my hands. <laughs> um, I can look at the box for you in just a minute. I've never used baby oil before. Really? Yeah, see, um, it's personal preference. I know a lot of people like to use cornstarch. I do not. Um, 
my personal opinion is cornstarch pulls too much moisture out of my clay. Uh, so I use baby oil. I think that it helps with the crack, cracks a bit. And um, it doesn't dry out my clay. Now there is like the DOS clay that is super wet. Uh, when you, especially when you first get it. So I will you actually use a little mm -hmm. bit of cornstarch when mm -hmm. I do use that, but mm -hmm. I haven't used DOS mm -hmm. in a long time. Yes, Papas. Um, my hands are yicky right now. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I will mm -hmm. help you. Okay, same thing. I'm going to take my mold and roll it back. And that broke, but I'm not worried about it right now because I don't think I need this whole piece. Pretty sure, might be wrong. Hold on, let's see. Oh, we might, we might need it. All right, so that broke off from over there, and I just pulled that off, but that's fine. Huh, what do you know? So it looks like those will be perfectly um, a little bit too big, but that's okay. We'll cut off, we'll paste that in there like that and then cut off whatever we need. I use all your bracelets. Can you be any brand of cake release spray? Can you, uh, I'm liking the oil. You like the oil? I always check availability and price and I'm sorry you So yes, I I Annette do prefer oil over cornstarch. Okay, so now I actually don't mind that that broke. I think I might end up splitting this a little bit um just to get it around the curve a little more, but we'll see. Again, all of this is going to wipe off what with the baby wipe guys don't freak out over that that's just the clay it's just clay dirty it's not a big deal all right so let's get this piece down i use the heavy body gel in glossy because it is the one that's transparent i'm going to use my favorite silicone brush and get off the excess gel. Now, the reason why I like the silicone brushes is because they mimic like a finger. And you don't want to go too hard into it, right? Because it's soft clay and you don't want to mess up your, your mold by indenting it with a big uh, brush or something. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, what pops? What? What am I supposed to do with this? Uh, what? Uh, oh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, oh, I can't take that off. Uh, no way, mister. Uh, then you will uh, get at me. Uh, Okay, you had to tell me what you want. You're telling me to stop, but I didn't do anything. He's telling me to stop. Lynn. Hi, Robbie. How are you? Yes, this is the best. Are you wanting this? Oh, you can't have mine. No. Uh -uh. Okay, so now we're going to take this little piece. That don't belong on there. So we'll take this little piece first. I just, uh, the silicone brush is, it's perfect, especially for getting off, you know, in like the little spaces that your fingers can't reach, but you don't want 
to make big indents in there with a brush. Okay. Troy, Troy, your phone case is in like the, oh, I shouldn't have put it on that piece yet. Hold on. I'm going to just put this piece over here because that was like the connecting piece. All right. So let's see, should I cut this mold or if it's going to round well enough for me? I actually don't like how that piece looks. Let me cut this. If I need to put another flower in there, I will. But having it back up to a, what, what's a leaf, it just wasn't looking right. right take that piece off. Yep, it is. I like this mold. It's just, like I said, so don't get frustrated if you get this mold. Just stick it in the freezer. If you know, if you find something's not coming out for you because it's too intricate, just stick the mold in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes and it'll pop right out. And then as it heats up in your hand, it'll become, you know, pliable again. Move that down just a little. Okay, let's take another piece. I'm going to hijack one of Andrew's old silicone brushes, seeing as he has a new one now. <laughs> He sure does, right? He did get a new one. He got a new fancy one, too, didn't he? I, did, he? I think he got some of the newer ones that I had gotten for you all. The ones that look like like this or like this. I Because I bought a bunch of new silicone brushes for um, the giveaway boxes. So... And some of them were a little bit fancier. I was like, wow, I kind of like these. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, get a little more clay in some of the flowers here. And that's a no-no, you guys, especially when you have a fan on. Don't just leave your clay out like that. Because um, it will dry out. So I'm going to get over here because I want to fill in right here. And there's just something that looks off right here. So I want to put in another rose there too. So I'm just going to get this little area. You're welcome, Sue. Yep, Sue. He said, I can't touch it. <laughs> Hi, Betty. How are you? Oh, my gosh, Marcia. That's so funny. He said, you can't touch his silicone. <laughs> okay. So I don't need all of these. Let's just take. All right. I want to take just like this flower here. And I'm going to take my finger in some water and I'm going to rub out this edge because it's, if it, if I just put it down with that sharp edge, it's going to look really crazy, right? And I'm going to put that right there. So I'm going to cut out. I don't know why. I just didn't, it looks a little too flat there maybe. I don't know. Just to me, it was looking strange. Okay, and I'm going to stick this flower in there. Oh, yeah, see? And then let's put a couple of flowers in here. You guys even see me down here? Yeah, you can. Again, see how sharp? 
that edge is right there, I don't, it's going to look funny. So I'm just going to take my finger in water and I'm just going to round out those edges. And then let's stick that down in there. Let's actually put, because we don't want the tissue when we're pulling it out. to catch on that little leaf. All right, let's stick that there. You didn't like that spot either, but you weren't gonna say anything. <laughs> you know you guys could tell me. I don't get, I'm not gonna get my feelings hurt. But yeah, sometimes on screen, I can, on the camera, I can see a better perspective than me having my face right here next to it. I'm going to take these out too. And, but yeah, Sue's right. It does have a gradual decrease in size from the flowers. But for some reason, the connection right there just looked strange. I'm going to cut off. And then I'll put those leaves back on there. I'm just taking this one flower. And then we'll clean up the top of this. And we might even have to repaint it later, which is fine because we're gonna have to paint this mold anyways. All right, now let's put that leaf back that I took out. So Marcia, does this kind of answer, um, you know, what I was talking to you about, putting on the mold while you make it? When you were talking about the shrinking Okay, now I'm going to come in with my, um, if I find it, yeah, it's right here, my clay tool, my favorite, and I'm just going to round out some of these harsh edges that I didn't get with my finger. And anything that looks like it's got a harsh edge, I'm just going to dip it in water and come right around. All right, so now I'm just going to get, again, we'll probably have to come in and repaint it because we have to paint the top of this anyways when it dries. So I'm not going to be too worried about it. All right. A lot of fussy work, but worth it. I'm going to jump off. I'll catch the replay. Okay, Robbie, thank you for being here. All right, so we have the top and dropping mold, I mean, clay. <laughs> so now I really think that the edge though here needs something. So I am thinking like a little rope mold. Um, you guys, what do you, cause I don't think putting, I mean, we could put like bling around it. I don't know, what do you guys think? You think we should put like bling around the edge or should we put another mold around the edge? And then we also need to do some flowers on the sides. Silver bling? Really? All right. We'll put the bling around there then. So we'll leave that. We'll let that do its thing. Um, and then let's put a couple of these. Choice case. 
let's put a couple of these flowers, which I think are going to look really pretty, right on here. This is the bottom. And then if we need to do any flower fillers, we have this mold here. So this one is uh, Cherry Blossoms, the redesign. Rope, then bling on the paper. Okay. So, again, I'm going to get a little bit of baby oil. This one isn't too intricate. But I still like using the oil. And I'm going to get a bigger brush so we're not here all day with that little one. And just come in. Because this one's not molding around anything, I could actually even... Um, I've poured this with resin. That would have been fine, too. But since we have to wait for that clay to dry anyways up at the top, we might as well. Yes, this mold. I love this mold. Okay. So I always just roll, like, you know, noodles, sausage, whatever you want to call it, and then just press it. What's that, Troy Troy? You want me to put your cover back on? All right. What time is it? I'm almost done, Pops. We're just going to put these molds on and then I'll be done. Okay? All right. So you want to push down, make sure it's getting a good impression, and then come in. Did I put that one in there? I sure did. Mm. Mm. Okay, now I'm gonna get my finger and I'm going to push mm. down. And anything I feel with my finger that might need a little more clay, mm -hmm. that's when I'm going to push in a little bit. Oh, it's right here, babe. That's why I was saying you gave me your case. Okay. I know if for some people it just gives me anxiety, sometimes I can't. And fiddling with detail mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Hold on, Papa's. I actually don't usually work with gloves on, Annette. The only reason why I do it on the live is because um, I can't walk over to the sink. I mean, I could, but I think that's rude. Uh, <laughs> and I do enough rude things. <laughs> um, so I just wear them on the live so that way I can take them off. And then my hands will be clean. All right, so let's see what we get with this. And that one, I actually don't need that one. Let's put this on there instead. And then we'll use my, this, to make that better once I get it glued down. To make that one. And then, maybe...
Um, I don't know if I like this anywhere. All right, let's hold off on this for a second. And let's do a couple of... <clears throat> so if you guys seen, I went ahead and just took the brush and put um, a little bit of oil everywhere in these molds. So that way I didn't have to keep coming back and doing this. the one I want right there. Sure change that plain box. I know, right? Isn't that the neat thing? Little couple of molds, little decoupage, rice paper, and I mean, that plain wooden box is just changed. Wait! <laughs> no flower. I need you. Okay. So don't even know. Cause remember now we can put the some other um we have some of the other things too. So if we wanted to put like the suitcase or anything like that over here. We could do that. Yeah, this, and then this one is, you know, comes in an A4 as well. The background, the in the city background. Mm -hmm. What, Papas? What? Mama's almost done. I'm just going to glue this down. All right. So, I don't think we'll use this flower down there. I think this is how we're going to glue this. And then when we come back on Friday and everything's dry, we'll be able to um, put some really pretty paints and then of course, waxes and everything else on there. What are you trying to do, son? All right, so let's pick let's pick this big one up. And I'm just gonna lay it in my hands. No, I'm not going to add. I'm not going to add anymore. All right. So now, hold on, Papas. Hold on. I know. I know. I know. I know. Hold on, baby. I'm not ignoring you. Just a minute, son. But you don't want me to touch your case with all this glue on my hands, son. Okay. Then let's get this piece down. But you know it'll take on a whole, I mean, it's just going to look so pretty when we get the paint on it. And then we get, you know, waxing the highlights. Okay, you see that gap right there? Well, how I'm connecting it right there, there's probably going to be a gap. So what I'm going to do is if there is a gap, I will fill it with my texture paste that I like to use. But right now... I'm going to get it to where I want it, and I'm actually going to take my tool and put them so that they are one instead of two pieces. And when you're doing this, make sure you keep dipping your tool in water. Because if you go in dry, you're going to be very mad. Whoa, there looks like there's something wrong right here. 
So I'm actually going to bridge that as well and then push that up. Okay, then let's get this one down. Thank you, Martin. Okay, let's put that one there. I want to make sure all the edges are down. Let's glue this on. Same thing, I'm gonna want that to connect. So I'm gonna come in with water and my tool and make sure that is now one, right? And then I've got some cracking that's happening right there. So I'm just gonna take my tool and I'm going to get rid of the, the crack right now. If it comes back, which I typically don't mind, um, then I will. If it comes back, then I can always, I have the option of filling it with um, the texture paste that I like to use. All right. So... The right tools make all the difference. Yeah. It's very helpful. It uh, sure is helpful when you have tools. Um, but again, you know, I don't, these are very affordable um, on Amazon. It's, I think, five bucks, and it gives you, like, all the clay tools you need. Um, there's some in there you won't need, but, you know, you never know. Some of them I've used come in handy and didn't even realize, forgot that I had it, and then found them and thought, oh my gosh, that's perfect. So, okay, now I'm going to come in with my finger, my silicone, and I'm going to get this extra glue. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. It's like me making my miniature mushrooms and clay connecting the stem. Yep. Yep. Exactly. All right. You know, just make sure you, even though it's transparent, right? You want to get it up if you can get it. You don't want like to leave big old glops just because it's transparent. Okay, now, again, you want to make sure you've got it all nice and down, right? Make sure you go through. And I'm going to come through again, dip my tool in water. I really should have showed you that before I put that down. But what I'm doing now is, can you see right there, this, the gap? Can you see that gap? So I'm going to dip my tool in water. I have to put it down, guys, so I can see. And then I'm going to come. I'm going to hold it so it doesn't move from me. And come along to the edge here. And I want to make it one with the box. So now can you see that edge? It's not lifting. It's now same here. Right there. All of that is lifted up from the box. Again, do you have to do this? No. But, you know, these little details take it to that, you know, that next level of looking like you just stuck a mold on the box to making it look like it's part of it, right? So that's why I go in. And this even does the same thing, but you want to still dip it in water because I can't reach in there with that tool. 
and do the same thing. Again, see all that at the bottom there, how all of that is lifted? Yes. All of that is lifted. So I'm going to come through again. I'm going to hold it because, remember, it's still a little damp underneath from the heavy body gel. I don't want it to move away. And I'm going to come through and make it one with that box. So now you see that it's down. All right? So, you know, it just details. Don't forget the little details. So now I'm pretty happy with it looking like it, you know, looking good. All right. So give it an actual finished look. Yep. I now have to work out what I'm doing tomorrow night. You make it look so easy trying to soak up all the tips. <laughs> all right, you guys. So today is only Wednesday. Again, I was like, man, I need to do the wheel. That really, that's really threw me off for having just that one little live on Sunday. It's so funny. So when we come back on Sunday, I mean, Friday, we will have the wheel again. Um, and then we will finish putting, you know, the paint, the waxes, and all of that beautiful. We'll put the bling on the box like you guys suggested. So I'll pull out the bling and then um, do any, you know, shading or whatever we need to do. Um, and then we'll probably end up starting a new project because that's not going to take long. However, I always say that's not going to take long. And then the next thing you know, it takes me in an hour and a half. So, Sue, I'm adding you to my list that cost me since you put all the links. <laughs> oh, I love it. So now you, you're getting blamed, Sue, and you know what? <laughs> I love it. All righty, y'all. I hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday. I will see you on Friday, um, and I think that's it. So I'll talk to you all soon. Thank you for being here.